Good evening and thank you for joining us on this Thursday night. Tonight we are tracking two winter storms, one of them heading to New England late tonight and tomorrow bringing snow, freezing rain and sleet. Also tonight we have the story of a pre-dawn raid and law enforcement's crackdown on fentanyl. CBS News was there today as more than 40 officers ready to raid a home where they believe the dangerous drugs were being made. But first, more than one year after that shocking shooting on an American film set, today the dramatic ending in the investigation that led to one of the most well-known actors in America facing criminal charges. Prosecutors brought felonary, involuntary manslaughter charges against Alec Baldwin after the fatal shooting of cinematographer Helena Hutchins in 2021. The 64-year-old Academy Award nominee has denied responsibility for the shooting and says he thought the gun wasn't loaded. Well, the film's weapons specialist, Hannah Gutierrez-Reed, she's facing the same charges. CBS's Chris Van Cleve has all the new information tonight from Santa Fe, New Mexico. Good evening, Chris. Nora, if convicted, Baldwin could face up to five years in jail. The DA here plans to formally file those charges in the coming days, but you won't see Baldwin in handcuffs. There won't be a perp walk. Instead, he'll be receiving a court summons. Yeah. What Alec Baldwin's lawyer calls a miscarriage of justice, Santa Fe's district attorney calls preventable and criminal. This was recklessness. This was a negligent discharge of a firearm because he pulled that trigger. 32 Santa Fe, one female shot in the chest. Baldwin was rehearsing a scene with cinematographer Helena Hutchins and director Joel Sousa when the gun went off on the set of the movie Rust, killing Hutchins and wounding Sousa. This is what Baldwin told detectives. It should have been a cold gun with no rounds inside or dummy rounds. I take the gun out slowly, I turn, I cock the pistol, bang, it goes up, she hits the ground. Investigators later found five live rounds on the set. In December 2021, Baldwin told ABC News he did not pull the trigger. Someone is responsible for what happened, and I can't say who that is, but I know it's not me. I think probably the most surprised person in America today is Alec Baldwin. CBS News legal analyst Ricky Kleeman says the actor may have thought the case was behind him after a settlement with Hutchins' family. Instead of leniency, the DA announced those two involuntary manslaughter charges, both felonies. It might, in the end, force a plea to a lesser charge. And that is good bargaining power for this prosecutor. Hannah Gutierrez-Reed, who is in charge of the firearms on set, also faces two involuntary manslaughter charges. Her attorney says Hannah will be exonerated of wrongdoing. Assistant Director David Halls, who handed the gun to Baldwin, agreed to plead guilty to negligent use of a firearm. I wasn't going to make a decision one way or another, depending on what their status in this life is. You act in reckless disregard of someone's life, then you should be held to account for that. In a statement, the Hutchins family praised the decision to bring charges, but in a civil settlement, her husband joined Rust as an executive producer. Filming was supposed to resume this month. Tonight, the production company wouldn't comment if that's actually going to happen. Nora? Chris Van Cleve, with all those developments, thank you so much.